Um, over here, printing stations because what's going to happen right here is there's going to be three desktops, uh, three printing stations, and then there's going to be a copier slash printer here. Um, so hard printing, or you can print from a Chromebook or a laptop wirelessly. Oh, wow. So we've got two copier printers, and then you'll have to release your job. Mm -hmm. So if you were to print here, you would go over and punch in your student ID code. It's going to take a little while to set up, mm -hmm. um, and then it will release the job. So oh, that wow. if you print the job 10 times, we're not going yeah. to, it's not just coming so, out. Yeah. Right. That's smart. Um, yep, so we're going to have two printers here that are student use, and uh, there'll be hard printing stations. So again, the only three desktops in this entire space will be right here. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what type of computer they I do not know. I imagine there'll be a Dell. Uh, it's typically what we use here. So. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. This is one of our four cooperative group rooms. Um, you'll see there's seven uh, chairs, uh, and they're really nice. I would suggest testing it out. They're actually, I think, the nicest, some of the most comfortable chairs in here. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. So these are really nice chairs. And, and they spin as well. Yeah. So what you could do is, if you guys want to check this out or a teacher wants to check this out, you could sign out this space. Um, and if you want to do a group project, you can see the wiring over there. You can actually either uh, check out a laptop or bring your own laptop and wire it and throw the presentation up on that screen so that you guys can see the space. You control it from over here. And uh, you can control the volume. And this is, again, for academic work. It's not to come in and put in Netflix, right? right? Because we do have entertainment here, but this is a product productive space. Um, and so you can go through and find the feed. You can use an HDMI cable. You can use go through, and this is for a computer. There's a HDMI. Like, if it's too bright, you can't see. No. Um, just because this, so we have four of these, and then we have two quiet study rooms. We want the space to have multiple utilities. This is going to be a quiet room. So uh, we for if you need to study or need to work on a paper and you don't want the distraction of you know big space out there or up in the gallery and you can tell a little bit sometimes you just want to study your feed and space um, because you can fit you know over almost 12, 12, 14 people in here. Um, and the other thing about this space is that if we needed to, um, we could also convert it because like the rest of the media center, um, you know, everything's on casters. Um, so it doesn't take much to convert this space to a conference room uh, if you needed something like that. So um, again, we designed it. So right now I need a quiet study down the road. Maybe I need something else with this room. Um, so again, the flexibility. So use right now, but flexibility down the road. So what is this area?
So uh, we're calling this the, the reading nook. Um, so it's two little couches here, and it's kind of, this is, I believe, the fiction section here. So, um, you know, students can grab a book, and if they're just looking for a quiet area to have a conversation, um, you know, it's a little bit removed. Uh, again, a nice little, little area cut in. Um, that fits student needs. Um, one of the nice things is you'll see throughout the media center, um, if you look at the outlets, there are USB ports in there. So students can just put their cables right into here. They don't need to have the, cool. the actual charging plug, right? Um, again, we have charging stations back there, which I believe Jeremy will get a shot of. Um, but uh, we do have USB and, and charging stations around so students can use this to charge their devices. Do the charging stations accommodate all types They of do, they do. We, you know, one of the other things that we're doing is, um, we are uh, going to stash cables and charging ports in with Ms. Dolson behind the desk so you guys can sign it out if okay. you forgot yours. Um, I think that people will find that if they just want to charge their phone real quick, they'll use these. If they want to charge like a MacBook and they're really concerned about stepping away or going up to the gallery and leaving a MacBook or a laptop to be charged, that's where the, the, the lockable charging stations will come in because they can put in a code and walk away. Oh, nice. As opposed to if they're just sitting here and hanging out, you're just going to plug it into that's the great. wall. Make sense? That's very smart. Yeah. That adds such a great feel to it. It's almost where you get to feel like kind of how cool the space is. Yeah. Um, you get to see down below. You get to appreciate that there's multiple classrooms over there that we haven't even talked about yet. Mm -hmm. We have an additional classroom and a language lab. Right. Um, and then just the height of it it's just it's so open uh, you know so I, I love this this view here and we've got some stuff that's coming in obviously I said the screens not in yet um, we're gonna have a piece of artwork that I think you guys are really gonna appreciate um, that's school yeah uh, that's school base that's going in over there that we're waiting for uh, but we also need to put other stuff up there's nothing there there's nothing down here uh, we're gonna put some student artwork up the stairs you have this great big giant wall um, you know but you can tell the space isn't quite finished yet you have some drywall here, so we're getting there. Right. Um, but again, like I said, I think it's going to even. You know, we're going to grow into it even more. Right. That's great. Yeah. So these the uh, the couches that you sat on. Yeah, yeah. Before I do that, I just want to say that these are just emergency access doors. They have an alarm on them. You can see arm. Um, oh right. So yeah. No, no right. we're not using right. these right now. These are really for fire exit. Okay. Um, we're going to use the main point of access uh, for in and out. You know, uh, we have books and Chromebooks and stuff in here. I don't think they're going to wander. Um, but again, this their alarm will go off if we use these doors. So okay. these are existing doors. Um, there were doors here that access. Uh, storage rooms up here, so we kept them in here for fire purposes, fire okay. exit purposes. Yep. So uh, these are this is the couch. This is the river, uh, and it was kind of a shape like this. We wanted like a statement piece up here right. um, that looks kind of cool and brings this large open space together, and I think it does just that. And so mm -hmm. I, I got to ask you to test it as well because uh, you know I don't want to be the only judge. Um, that's very cool. It's not bad, right? Very you know, cool. So, and then we, you know, we used the fabric from the other chairs in here, and then right. we just went with school colors. Um, um, but I think it's, it's nice to have a couch in, yeah. in a library. And, but it's, you could study on here, you could work, have a conversation. Really yeah, yeah, there's plenty of spaces to work. And that's the thing. Nice is, for club too, yeah, right? that's a nice idea. If you wanted to have a larger group, you know, you could probably fit 10 or 12 on here. Um, but, uh, do you ever think teachers will use this? I don't know, Jack. That's a really good question. I, I, it, that's the other thing. It's a great point you bring up is it's not just a student space. It's a staff space as right. well. Um, so I don't know if they'll sit on the couch. Maybe they'll feel more comfortable at the tables or, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know the, the, ta the high tops over there. Um, the other thing, we're missing some ottomans that go in those chairs in the back. Right. Um, they'll be in soon, but, you know, the furniture order right. just had a you know some missing items, um, but I really am happy with the way this turned out. It's pretty modern, it's pretty cool, it but it's it's a statement uh, statement piece. I like how it forms a unique. Shape. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen a couch 
quite like it. Right. Um, and we're, I think we're one of the few people who have it at this point. Um, are these drilled in as well, or are they moving? They're, no, these are, these are lockable. So these are actually all locked into each other. These are, I think, little pieces. So you can see here is a piece, and there's a piece, right. and they kind of close into each other. So they're, they're locked in at the base. Uh, and this will stay fixed. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could move it. Um, but up here, this area is less flexible. It's more of a, you know, I was calling it lounge. It's, it's really a gallery for people to kind of, you know, hang out. And this is not just for seniors. It's for I had thought about that, I, you know, I, but based on how big it is, um, you know, I, off the top of my head, you can do a count, but I believe there's something like 60 possible seats in here, um, maybe even more, maybe 70. And when you only have 200 in a class, I, I couldn't limit right. and have that area be crowded and have like 10 people up here. Right. Um, I would love to do that for, for our seniors. Um, it just didn't happen. Um, this is, I think, where a lot of study hall will come if there's classes down there. Study hall could come up here. So we're going to put some periodicals, some magazines. Uh, we're actually going to add a little additional shelving up here. Um, there are TVs up here as well. Um, they're, being in the, they're in the process of being moved up a little bit. Right. Um, so it, it has a little bit of that functionality, not quite as flexible as downstairs, um, but I think it's more comfortable mm -hmm. up here, yeah. and the other chairs are really nice too. It's very comfortable. Yeah, so this is, I mean, this to me was the, you know, I think that students will, I don't know, um, prefer, if you say what's the most comfortable chair, I would say this one. That's very comfortable. Yeah, and then there's an ottoman in there's the middle, so there. yeah, it's just a nice, this is, to me, it's a nice, comfortable chair. Very um, bright. Yeah, and so these were cut out. That's um, great. You can see they're glazed. We didn't, you know, you, you, if we left them open, you could see out and be a nice view. However, it would literally blind, blind you. Everybody. Yeah, 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 we don't, we don't want that. Um, so that's why we decided to glaze both the windows that's there. Great. How many, how many chairs are like this? In, we have you know? 20, yeah, we've 20 got of 20 of these. Okay. Yep, 20 of these, there's, I believe, you know, five pods, we're in the middle pod right now. Right. And these, we'll, we'll add the ottomans in here. Um, we're gonna add a couple more shelves in here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is all the furniture with the exception of the, the ottomans, of course. So and since there's- You can see down here, like even- Oh, wow. There's port, there's plugs down there. there there's charge, I mean, That's there's really all over the place. Um, so since Ms. Dolson is downstairs, mm -hmm. who watches up here? Great question. That's a really good question, Jack. One that kept me up at night, you know, when we were designing <laughs> the space. Um, that's why part of the reason we brought study halls in here. Mm -hmm. uh, However, my job is to make sure that you're safe uh, and to make sure that you're accounted for and we're supervising you during the day. So there'll be an adult up here at all times. Um, I also do have you know, security cameras up right. here uh, just to reinforce you guys want to make good decisions. Um, and, and part of it is just going to be like, again, you know, the no food or drink up here. You know, water, okay, we can deal with water. Um, but, you know, if we want these chairs to be here and to be usable for years to come, we've got to treat them with the utmost respect. So this is absolutely no food or drink. This is going to be books up here as well? Yeah, yep. Definitely. We had a little issue with shelving. Um, one of the things, they changed the, uh, the shelves in the process. So we ended up choosing a different type of shelving. We lost quite a bit of linear footage that we weren't aware of, so we have to order some more shelving. Um, so the biographies are going to be up here. We're going to put four uh, seven-foot bookcases in that we don't have just yet. Yeah, so it'll work out OK. Where are they gonna go? They're going to go in between. Yeah, so you'll see right. one, two, right. uh, three, four. Um, so these have to come out a little bit. Yeah, so we just got to, like, we got to be flexible. We respond to we an issue, and we, we got to do what we can to address okay. it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. to get another classroom. Um, okay. This will have the same furniture as downstairs. We don't have the tables just yet. Um, these are the modesty panels. And then you can see the stackable chairs there. Um, what I envision is if a teacher needs some flexibility with regard to the classroom to make it into a, you know, a square for a discussion mm -hmm. or something like that, or debate, they might sign out this room um, for the time being. And also, you, the question you asked earlier is a great one about what might we do with this space? Right. Who knows what this room could become? Okay. Um, what we use it for? But it's, we can always use space. Okay. 
So teachers can just, any class can kind of Sure. Yeah, when, it, when it's ready. We don't right. have ta tables yet. So. That's great. Yeah. But it's a, it's a classroom. It is. Yeah. <laughs>so what is this room? You tell me, Jack. It's a language lab. Language lab. Yeah, so these are all individual carols. Um, and we're going to have computers in each of these with headsets. And um, what I thought we needed since I got here is a space for students to actually speak the language. Um, and, and we have a software uh, that goes in and that is a, you know, managed by an outside company um, that allows students to do various things. They can uh, practice not only speaking the language, but also you can do a conversation. So if you're at table number five and Jeremy's at table 20, um, we, the teacher can shuffle it up and, and have a conversation between you and Jeremy on the audio. So you guys oh, wow. are practicing. That's yeah, pretty cool. cool. Yeah, that's so, cool. and then, or you can record what you need to. And that's why there's carols here with a little bit of a sound buffer. Um, this is the assignment I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna speak, but it allows you uh, to get practice and it allows the teacher to assess your mm -hmm. verbal, uh, you know, verbal ability, your verbal skills.